be here in 15 minutes. My name is Gwen Pym. I'm a scientist. A nanoscientist. Nanoscientists study things that are very, very small. So naturally, it helps to be microscopic too. The world looks different when you're only a few millimeters tall. I'm just a minuscule visitor to this environment, but there are things living on the Earth even smaller than me. Although, I think beetles make much better friends than smaller things like bacteria. Well, Gwen Pym, what brings you to my home? My dress is a mess and my mother will be furious. I need to invent a way to get clean. And quickly. I'll take you to see my wife. Mrs. Beetle has been working on a gift that might brighten your day. when you're this tiny, but it's unsettling the air with vibrations. Are you all right? Not to worry, Gwen. Just hold on tight. We'll be through this turbulence soon. Almost through. There we are, safe and sound. Safe and sound? Why, Gwen, dear, you're a mess. Nanoscientists aren't afraid of a little mud, Mrs. Beetle. I'm fine. But how is your house in one piece? The storm should have destroyed your home. Know what this is? It's leaves from a lotus flower. I almost died on one just now. Died? Oh dear, she's exaggerating. Mm. Do you see those ridges? Those bumpy spikes on the surface? That's something only plants like a lotus has. The surface is rough and bumpy, you see. Bumpy. You mean like bubble wrap or a gravel driveway? Yes, precisely. And since it's so bumpy, the water droplet can't break apart and it just rolls off the surface. The leaf repels water instead of absorbing it or catching it, which is very good for keeping beetle houses standing in a storm. And very good for keeping messy girls like you clean. Gwen Penn, your grandmother is here. You come in right this instant. Here we are. Now, you come back and visit us again, perhaps during some brighter weather. I will, Mr. Beetle, and thank Mrs. Beetle again for my dress.
Hi, Grandma. Hello, dear. My, where'd you get that lovely dress? Oh, just a little friend of mine.